We gathered our things from the Gresham and hopped on a big bus driven by Jimmy from Edinburgh. <laughs> Who knew the Irish had their own version of the White House before the Americans, and that the American Embassy was just around the corner? And although the Duke of Wellington was born in Dublin, the IRA blew up his statue in 1966, and here it is replaced in Phoenix Park. And who knew you can literally put anything you want in gin and still make it taste great? First impressions. Northern Ireland looks tired, just like that road sign. The troubles are very much near the surface. Stormont, their parliament, is not in use because the Protestant parties don't agree with Sinn Féin on the division of power. Some 48% of the population is Protestant now. This is Queen's University in Belfast. The graffiti is a constant reminder of history and the unresolved political sentiments. As you can see, the peace wall is topped in wire and barbed wire. Not all graffiti is political though. The Irish can celebrate their heroes and have a laugh. Belfast was one of Britain's industrial centers, famous for shipbuilding, heavy machinery construction, and aircraft manufacturing. The Harland and Wolfe shipyards, home of the Titanic, employed thousands, but no longer. In fact, the North has Ireland's only heavy industry. Most of Ireland's landscape is devoted to agricultural pursuits. Here you can see the slipways where the Titanic and her two sister ships were built, the Olympic and the Britannic. October the 3rd, 2022. We are seated in our very large bus, nine of us, on our way to the Giants Causeway today, um, and then on to Derry for dinner and a night. So far, the Irish trip has been pretty darn wonderful. We've had mixed weather with mostly sunshine and dry, but a couple of rainy spells. We're traveling with Don and Margaret and Ken and Kath. Scotland just across the water.
Ireland. And it's a lovely Irish day. The wind is howling, but the people are very cheery. Londonderry is one of the few cities in Europe to retain its original outside wall. The wall looks down onto the mainly Catholic neighborhood of Bogside. The wall art constantly reminds you of the troubles and the people who paid the price during this politically turbulent time. After 10 days of traveling, you begin to sound a bit like this. What's, what's going on? Oh, it's been, you know, one day after another, and uh, every day we have a lot to eat and sleep and uh, see things, see a lot of things, Irish things. During the First and Second World Wars, Northern Ireland was the tip of the spear jutting out into the Atlantic and protecting the convoys. As we leave Northern Ireland, we see a striking reminder that change is possible. Sculptures forged from decommissioned weapons and barricades stand in hope of a better future. That future may include bringing back some of the traditional industries in the north, like weaving. working on this in 2000, in July of 2000. I was first man on site who was contracted in here as foreman to get it ready. And it took us uh, almost three years to get it, uh, to get it open. So we opened it in April of 2002. And uh, it's really easy for tours, except during COVID, how it goes down, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you actually can read the board there, folks, and you see the picture of the sacred heart there. Everybody yeah. said they're famous for me, and for obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you're from Canada, from yeah. New York, yeah. and yeah. So you, you know a bit about my being so. Yeah. Uh, this was very small yeah. compared to what's going on out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, but, big coal mines in yeah, the yeah. 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 No mining in this country now. Uh, the coal in this area here in, uh, around all the mountains. You know, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you never get out of it. Nothing. All the time, mm -hmm. these are in your one now. The older lambs have a seven pound battery on them for all the time. When you are lying down, yeah, it's about to That's an old thing. Is that your original helmet? That's your original helmet and head, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's good. That's like and you have the two of your... them are a bit battered. <laughs> 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 That's the bit it on there and you just put it in the Yeah, they were made from paper, believe it or not. Paper? Paper, paper, paper mache. Really? Let's see if it, if it gets wet, it gets out. Oh, but that's no good. <laughs> it's wet down here. I tell you, it was better than the cap. It saved you hitting your oh, head. Oh, I guess, you know? yeah. And if we go out in the evening, you'd hang them up in the office. And of course, the wayman 
had plenty of coal out there. He had a big pot belly stove, and that was burning all the time, and it had him up and it would dry in the morning when you uh, uh, you know, when you come back to work. Dublin, Ireland. We are currently in Trinity College Library after having taken a tour of the Book of Kells. Mostly the company. Not the scenery. Yes, the scenery too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 